Hello, this is Dr. Marian Olpinski. I'm a pediatrician and founder and owner of telepediatrics.pro. And as you see on the title of my today's presentation, I want to talk about pink eye. How many of you were scared about the, this name? How many of you have been called from daycare or kindergarten or school to come instantly and take your child home because their eyes were red? So what's pink eye? Pink eye, in medical terms, conjunctivitis, is the inflammation of the lining of our eye, eyelids and eyeballs. There is there a transparent membrane, which normally we can see, but when it gets inflamed, it gets red, it gives you a greedy sensation in your eye, along with itching. And many times you can also see in your child a discharge, which forms a crust on the eyelashes, especially during the night when we don't clean the eye. And this is why this discharge, this crust is visible mostly after the night sleep because we don't clean it we let our children to sleep and on this picture you can see those injected uh, red blood vessels uh, which gives the look of conjunctivitis or pink eye so what are the causes of this disease there are three main causes. Two of them are infectious and one is allergy. So infections which can cause in pink eye can be divided into viral and bacterial. And the most common conjunctivitis is caused by viruses. There are few of them which can cause this disease, but the most common is caused by adenovirus. So most common viral uh, conjunctivitis, viral pink eye is caused by viruses called adenoviruses. There are also other viruses which can cause it. They are rare, but herpes viruses like herpes simplex, uh, the virus which can cause uh, shingles or varicella can cause it too. Also, which is very rare, especially in the United States, picorna viruses like Coxsackie virus A24 or enterovirus 70 can, can cause outbreaks, but not in the United States. Viral conjunctivitis is highly contagious. And what is important? Viral conjunctivitis caused most of the time by one of the types of adenovirus is not a disease which comes only to our eyes. These viruses cause usually other symptoms like nasal congestion, cough, typical for a common cold. Also, it can be so-called pharyngeal conjunctival fever, which except of conjunctivitis, uh, there is a fever, so throat, and there are particular numbers of adenovirus which can cause it. And more severe, also viral, conjunctivitis is called epidemic keratoconjunctivitis uh, caused by different uh, types of adenovirus. But the most important thing is that if your child has red eyes with some itching, greedy sensation, uh, crust visible, 
most of the time in the mornings. Then, and also you see runny nose and some cough. This is viral conjunctivitis. And why I am uh, talking so much about this? Because I'm still noticing that almost majority of children are getting antibiotics for the conjunctivitis, which is most likely viral and it won't help. Bacterial conjunctivitis is caused by bacteria. And here um, there is a list of most common bacteria causing bacterial conjunctivitis. And the most visible uh, sign is a lot of pus coming out from the eye. Like viral conjunctivitis, most of the time will uh, be visible in both eyes, will be affecting both eyes. Bacterial more often can only affect one eye, but not always. And this is more rare cause of pink eye. And finally, allergic conjunctivitis, allergic pink eye. People who are allergic to many things, like pollens, like dust mite, animal dander, molds, they can also, having contact with those uh, allergens, which cause allergic reaction, they can develop also allergic conjunctivitis. And it happens uh, for some people all over the year, but for those who are allergic to pollen from trees, plants, grasses, it happens, uh, it is seasonal and happens most of the time in the spring. So how we treat pink eye? The most important thing which I want to tell you today is that not every child with pink eye has to be instantly seen by the doctor because most of them catching it in daycare, kindergarten, preschool or school are catching viral conjunctivitis which goes away by, it, by itself. And it takes time. It takes usually between one week and two weeks when you see this discharge and crusting every morning, you have to clean uh, <clears throat> eyes with, with just clean water or artificial tears. And sometimes at the beginning you can use cold compresses because it will help with this itchiness and greedy sensation. But those children, most of the time, they don't need antibiotics because antibiotics don't work for viral infection. Mild bacterial, even, pink eyes will also go away by itself, but sometimes your doctor, and it can be done by telemedicine, can prescribe some ointments or drops with antibiotics. But I can tell you, it is rarely needed. So once again, cold compresses, cleaning the crusting, some artificial tears can be helpful. If somebody wears contact lenses, stop wearing them for some time. And don't worry. Don't panic. And sometimes, of course, you have to look for medical care. When? When there is an eye pain where your 
vision is getting blurry and doesn't improve even when you this when you wipe the discharge from the eye then you can suspect that there may be some problems with your cornea where your eyes are painful and very intensely red and especially in bacterial conjunctivitis in bacterial pink eye if you already started taking antibiotic drops or ointments and there is no improvement and maybe even the situation is getting worse but finishing my short presentation i want to tell you that most of the time pink eye like many viral children's diseases goes away but by itself and your child doesn't need to be seen by the doctor and especially now in this covid pandemic the other option is to use telemedicine uh, which in most cases will be possible and will be helping to resolve the problem so i want to thank you so much for listening and goodbye